Hello, everyone. In this lecture, we talk about linear functions and its graphs. This is a key concept in grade 10 school math, and it's the beginning of analytical geometry. OK, let's see some real questions. The first one comes from 2021 10b problem 9. Let's pause the video and think about it. OK, let's draw a draft first. So this is the xy coordinate and the reflect about the line y equal to negative x. This is y equal to negative x. And um, um, the image P after these two transformation is at negative 6, 3. Negative 6, 3. So it comes from rotate and then reflect. So if we reflect back first, this point gonna be negative three and six, as you can see. And then it's rotated counterclockwise by 90 degree about point one five. So this is one five. And this is rotated counterclockwise 90 degree from here. So this point is one five, okay. And uh, let me use a different color. So it's like the horizontal, this line is negative three to one is four. And the vertically six minus five is one. And the rotate 90 degree, which means this is one, this is four. So from point one, five plus one. So this point will be two and the five plus four, nine. So we get AB is two, nine. So nine minus two, the answer is seven. The next one comes from 2019 10A problem 7. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. Let's first draw this graph. So it's like uh, we intersect at 2, 2, and the slope is 2 and uh, 1 and a half. So it should be like symmetric with y equal to x, and uh, another line x plus y equal to 10, so we can draw line. Here, the intercept is 10 and 10. Okay, so how can we find the area? This is not a regular shape. Probably, we first need to find the intercept. So let's say this line is slope 2. We can use the slope intercept form it's going to be y minus 2 equal to 2 times x minus 2. It intercepts with x plus y equal to 10. So we need to solve this system. So y equal to 10 minus x and put back to here. 10 minus x minus 2 is we open the bracket 2x minus 4. So 3x is 12, x is 4. So we first find this point is 4, 6, and the other point because symmetric, it would be 6, 4. Or you can just uh, find the equation of the other line and calculate the intercept. Okay, now we have the three intercept. Um, probably the easiest way and uh, the most useful way to solve this area is uh, we put it back into a rectangle. This is 4, 2, 2, 2, and uh, this is also 2, this is 4. And then use the rectangle, which is 4 times 4, and the minus the 3 triangle. So the 3 triangle is 2 times 4 divided by 2, and there are two same pieces, so times 2. And then minus another one, 2 times 2 divided by 2. So it's going to be 16 minus 8 minus 2. The answer is 6. Okay, let's see the next one. This is from 2019 10b problem 5. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's draw this graph first. So this is the xy. And uh, the line is y equal to x. 
Um, so point ABC reflected and ABC in the first quadrant. So we just uh, say randomly draw a triangle A, B, C. And if we reflect, let me use a different color. So if we reflect, B gonna be here, C gonna be here, and A will be here. So it's gonna be like this. Okay. Uh, triangle ABC prime lies in the first quadrant. Yes, true. Um, triangle ABC and ABC prime have the same area. Yes. The slope of line AA prime. This is a prime at slope negative one. It's true because it's one and the negative one we can see. The slope of line AA prime and CC prime are the same. A, a prime and the CC prime is the same. True because they are all negative one. And lastly, line AB and the A prime B prime are perpendicular with each other. This is not necessarily true. As you can see, it's not. Okay, so the answer is E. Let's see the next one. It's from 2017 10B problem 10. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's take a look. So we have two lines. They are perpendicular. And uh, we are given an intersection or point. So normally, when we give a point, we just put back in the equation. So first, when x is 1, y is negative 5. So we're going to have a plus 10 is c. And 1 negative 5, we have 2 minus 5b is negative c. And if we solve this, uh, we can add them together. So we're going to have a plus 10 plus 2 minus 5b is 0. Okay. And second, they are perpendicular. So the first line, the slope is a over 2. And the second line, the slope is 2 over negative b. And we know they time together perpendicular should equal to negative 1. Okay. So which means a over negative b is negative 1. So a over b is 1. So a equal to b. And now we have a equal to b and we put back into this equation. We're going to have um, 12 minus 4b. This is b. Minus 4b is 0. So b is 3. So we have a equal to b equal to 3. And uh, what is c? So c is equal to 13. So this finally become an uh, algebra equation and uh, we have to know two line perpendicular have this equation. The two slope time together is equal to negative one. Okay, let's see the last one. This is from 2017 10A, problem 12. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. This is a problem 12, so it's a bit harder. And um, the reason it's harder because it's involved inequality. So here we have those three quantities, three x minus x plus two and y minus four, they are equal. And um, um, such that the third of the three quantity is no longer greater than the common value. So it's like 3 equal to x plus 2. And then the third one, for example, this is third one, uh, no greater than, so which means smaller than or equal to 3. Or it could be like 3 equal to y minus 4. And the third quantity is smaller than or equal to 3. Or lastly, it could be those two are equal. And um, any one, the third value is no greater than x plus 2. So from the first one, we get x equal to 1 and y smaller than 7. So what's this like? This is actually, um, let me draw it. So this is actually x equal to 1. We know it's a vertical line. 
But since y is smaller than seven, so we start from seven, and we should just uh, anything below seven. So the second one is becomes y equal to seven and x smaller than equal to one. So y equal to seven is a horizontal line. But is x smaller than one? So this is this is one we know. So we only have the left hand side part. The last one we're gonna have y equal to x plus six and x greater than or equal to one. So it's like starting from one and uh, y equal to x plus six. So that's why the answer is um three ray with a common end point. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next lecture.